I absolutely hate unnecessary spending. One of the reasons we talk about this and we shine a spotlight on that is because I want you and everyone in this community to know it's okay to sacrifice today's pleasure for a greater future. So let's get straight into the video, but not before you smash the like button and subscribe if you're new. My name is Candace. I am a secretary for an education institute. Uh, I don't know. Candace, is this your office or is this your home? Because this looks like a very beautiful home. It really, really does. My name is Clint. I'm an operations coordinator for a liquid bolt company. A liquid bolt company? I don't know what that is. I just got married young. I'm pretty sure we got married when we were 22. I think we're coming up on five years. The way he says, I think we're coming up on five years, I believe him. I believe him. I couldn't tell you how long I've been with my partner. I just couldn't tell you. We're either starting our fourth year or we're in our fourth year. I don't know. We, we... Clint never stops spending. When I get something in my head and it's something that I want, I don't think about it and I just do it. I don't want to be spending the money, but he has to buy everything new. Big screen TV. Nice definition. We had to get the surround sound. Yeah, let's be honest, surround sound systems are cool. I don't know if you've noticed recently, surround sounds aren't a big thing anymore. I remember getting a nice setup of a TV when I was younger and I had like an eight system surround sound thing. So eight speakers all around me. That was freaking incredible. Now we get all these long sound bars and I'm just, I'm not a fan of them. They're supposed to be AI generated friggin' surround sound, but it just doesn't do it for me. What do you think? We had to get the surround sound. Can't have the TV and not the proper sound. Oh, no! Dude, there's like starving children in Africa right now who couldn't dream of the life that we are living, but you just need to have it, don't you? We already know that they're in $80,000 worth of credit card debt, so they're obviously not doing too well financially. And is it just Clint's fault? I don't know. I want to see what Candace has got to say and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll find out. Various video game consoles in the past, motorcycles, cars, the everything he wants, he gets. Candace definitely monitors some of the spending that I've done. She's obviously not doing a good job. She's not monitoring. She's not taking control of it. She's not doing anything positive. She's just eyeballing it. She's witnessing the spending. If, if he hasn't stopped and she hasn't quit the whip, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on here. It's online banking. And I can view that at the instant. Like where he has gone to the strip joint. Ah, bah, 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 bah. If you're going to do that, take out cash. Just saying. How do I know? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying, you know. Strippers for dummies. Books. I don't know. But uh, definitely not from experience. Oh, you're there, are you? There's like a stalker. <laughs> Guess who showed up there? <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Could you imagine? You're just minding your own business at the strip club and in walks your wife. Honey, what are you doing? Guess who showed up there? <laughs> I love them. Clint doesn't open any bills, nor does he go online to check anything. I have no clue as to what's in the bank account. <laughs> You've got a nice couch. Uh... This is that a clock? It, no, there's, it's it's interesting when it comes to people who have spending issues. Is they look really, really good. It makes me wonder: is there any people out there who are actually doing well? Can you see? Can you actually see if they're doing well by what they what they outwardly appear? I don't know. It, it just. I don't know. The whole thing's confusing to me. Bill Ferry comes down and pays our bill. <laughs> I will pull from our line of credit or go into overdraft. But that doesn't bother me. Credit is pretty much what makes the world go round, I guess I would say. Oh my gosh, my gosh, my gosh. Okay, in this world, when you are working class, you have two options. One, enjoy the credit lifestyle. Or two, save and invest so one day you can enjoy living large without worrying about borrowing money. What would you decide? Being broke? Or being rich. You get to enjoy your fruits of your labor and go into credit card debt and buy all your nice things. Or you can just sacrifice down and then one day be able to cash flow all that. You tell me, what would you choose? Now, we have purchased a condo that closes in a couple months. Okay. Again, that was probably more... Oh, 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 look at that fridge. My gosh, that is a nice fridge. I don't have a fridge like that. 
probably more my idea. Clint doesn't realize that we have to come up with a deposit before we move in. You have to have the deposit before you can even close on a house. How does this work? Please explain to me. I just, I, so what, you could... Uh, this must be before 2008, before the subprime mortgage debacle. It has to be. There's other things that contribute to being emotional. He can't have kids, naturally. That's extremely emotional for me. I'm oh, that is tough. That is tough. Now, it's very hard for me to say anything negative about this. I'm not sure what Candace is about to say. But if she's got any kind of issue with him not being able to have kids and they can't afford, let's just say they can't afford the other treatment to be able to have children unnaturally, I don't think she should be with him. I get love is love, but if you want children and your partner can't, maybe that's something you should have spoke about before you got married. But then again, they got married when they were young. Yeah. Frustrated. I, I can't do IVF because of Clint spending. This is the huge problem. Huge problem when it comes to having issues with spending. You want to live it up and enjoy today? Well, now your wife can't get pregnant. I'm sure that's going to work out for you. It's just simple, I want, I want, I want, without thinking about the future. We see this all the time here on the channel. This is relationship is more at risk with the baby situation than the debt situation. It all goes back towards the debt situation. If you weren't in debt, you'd be able to cash flow this. You're earning $92,000 a year. I can't see why you couldn't cash flow this. It might take a bit of time, but Rome wasn't built in a day. A very great friend in Rome called Bigger Stickers. <laughs> Dad, I think that Clint and I will eventually part ways. Me too. Because we won't have kids, which is something that I really want. Oh, well, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess when they got married so young, it would have been hard to ask, can you have kids? They probably discovered that later on. Okay, all right. I'll take a back seat. I'll apologize for what I said. He'll have all his stuff, but he won't have me. When it comes to spending, Clint is like a kid in a candy store and Candace is powerless to stop the binge. And she feels powerless, but she's not. She genuinely is not. She could crack the whip. This this whole situation could have been avoided. It's just, I, I don't think they've got enough communication in the relationship. That's my opinion. That's my opinion! The way things are going, they can't afford to start a family. It's time for these two to get their priorities straight. Oh, it's so sad. The worst part of this is she really wants children. And he is too busy spending and living it up to realise that he's screwing them over. Hi, Gil Vaz Hi, I'm Candace. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Clint. Nice to meet you, Clint. Nice to meet you. You're a bit of a boy, right, Clint? <laughs> You're a boy man. You sit here and you play shoot em up game. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind that Gail is one of those Karens who did not like video games. The, the type of people who didn't like Pokemon. Pokemon! Seriously! The, when Pokemon came out, there was this big debacle that it was from the devil. Uh, there was even a couple of reports where children had been stabbed by other children over Pokemon cards. What? I don't know. Wait until she finds out <laughs> Clint owns Grand Theft Auto. Oh no! Oh no! Gail is a mum for sure. <laughs> so Clint, how many hats do you have? Pardon? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Hey! Whoa, whoa! Look how many freaking hats! Oh, I thought that was a hat as well. I thought the whole closet was full of hats. Crazy! We'll go to a store. Clint is like a woman. He will try on 50 million things. He's got a hat, fetish, shoes, clothes, everything. One of the things that I noticed about the two of you is that there's a definite discrepancy in your stuff. His robe is beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Her robe is ratty. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! This is complete opposite between me and my girlfriend. My closet is just one drawer. Underwear, shirts, work stuff. That's it. I've got one pair of shoes. Uh, I lie. I actually got two pairs. Uh, three pairs of shoes. Three pairs of shoes because my my family-in-law just does not like my me using my work shoes when we go out. But, you know, that's uh, neither here or there. <laughs> this is pretty well your relationship. 
very often what happens is no matter what I do to help on the financial side, I actually can't solve the problem because the problem is between them. Mm. That's not your case. It's very clear that you're very tight and you love each other to death. When will you That know? is really good. We just came off the back of this video here where the guy was a financial abuser. So it's really good to see that this couple is genuinely still in love. That's great. It's incredible. You have enough. Enough clothes, enough hats. Honestly, I probably won't ever feel have that. enough. Eighty thousand dollars in consumer debt? Are you kidding me? I know where the money's going. No, you don't. Neither of you knew where the money was going, and I'm going to show you where well, the money's I mean, going. Oh, I'm so excited to see these lumps. Eighty thousand dollars worth of debt. People ask me all the time, oh, how does this happen? Well, it's very simple. How do you get into $10,000 worth of debt? One swipe at a time. $20,000 worth of debt. One swipe at a time. 30, one swipe at a time. And 40, one swipe at a time. And 50, well, you guessed it. Oh my gosh, 10 points to you. Yes, swipe and swipe and swipe, and that's how you become broke. That's, that's how it happens. It doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't happen overnight. And that's why people in the finance realm always talk about focusing on your daily expenses. Like, stop wasting money on coffee. Okay, it's not just coffee. People pick on coffee all the time. Simply, it is pointing out that if you focus on the little things, you will be fine. Focus on your cents and your dollars will look after themselves. But you don't know where the money is going. <laughs> There is your 80. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, IVF treatment, $5,000. I can't go against that. It would be not. Interest rate, 32%. Maybe I've got an issue with that. I wish you could have cash flowed this because if you cash flowed it, you would be fine. You wouldn't. 32%. You got a credit card, $9,000, line of credit, $19,000, dirt bike loan. You can't even, you, you earn 30, 92 grand a year, and you can't cash flow $2,000 for a bike? You know you're really screwed over. And then what do you got? You got a car loan, you got another car loan, you've got over $35,000 worth of vehicle loans, um, the monthly payment on that. The, the monthly payment on the IVF is 230 which is almost half of what you would pay for the, the car loan for $3,000. That just breaks my heart because it's these interest rates that's, that kill you. It's so sad. So their monthly repayments on all their loans is $2,120. If you were to invest that monthly for the rest of your life, you'd retire a multi-millionaire. That's what irritates me here, is they're focusing on today, right? Even if you're not the type of person who wants to save and invest, you are sacrificing, you're going into all this debt here, so you can't afford to have children. That That is sad. That is really, really sad. And look how long it's going to take them to pay off all these loans. That's... That just breaks my heart. And that's uh, obviously the minimum payment. That's sad. ...dollars in debt. You went off and had an IVF treatment at an interest rate of 32%. Yeah, I just can't understand that. You know, if I wasn't ethical and if I didn't have a moral compass, I would be doing that. I'd be in that business. I hate to say this, but that's predatory. It has to be predatory. Or you can't have children. Well, people really love children, so let's charge them 32%. Ugh. These people are stealing from you. Yeah. If you can afford a baby, you should be able to pay for your IVF straight up. Yeah. Okay, because there's some planning that goes into parenthood. And then you have all this money on this credit card at... Almost 20%. You know what I would love to see? I'd love to see the bank statements on this and just see them just waste all their money. It's sad. It is sad. It is sad. But remember, all this is avoidable. This isn't they had a car accident and they're paying back those loans. It's not that. This is, this is all cho choice, choice, choice. The only thing they don't have a choice in is the IVF treatment. And let's 
be brutally honest, if you want to split hairs, that can be seen by an electron microscope. You could argue that the IVF treatment is a choice as well, because children are a choice. But uh, that's up to you if you agree with that or not. So you're not proactively managing your credit. You're not figuring out how to get your interest rates down. No. And your car loan can't. At your payment, it'll take 100 months to pay it off. That's insane. Over eight years. That is insane. Carried forward, negative equity. Every time that we trade in these vehicles, we lose money. Oh, they're like four cars deep into this cycle. That's so sad. Just add it up, add it up onto his previous loan. Four cars in four years? Too many four cars in four years? I know millionaires who are still driving the same car. What's that car actually worth today? Uh, like 15000 Okay. So that $15,000 car, mm. you're going to have to drive for eight years. And you're going to pay $51,000 for it. Drive to work, it's an investment. No, unless your car's like McLaren F1, if that's a car, put it here. If it's not this car, please tell me that you're not taking finance out for it. It's not an investment. It's not. Oh, look. <gasps> Finally, we got something you understand. By the time it's all paid off, mm. the way you're doing it right now, mm -hmm. your $80,000 will have cost you almost $145,000. This is heartbreaking, and this is why the rich get richer. Because the rich are not doing stupid shit like that. They are taking advantage of stupid people doing this. They're the ones loaning out the money, right? And they're the ones investing their money. Those who were broke, especially in first world countries, they go against the grain. Actually, no, they don't go against the grain. They go the American way of debt, 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 debt. Because you have to have a car loan. You have to have a nice car. You have to have a nice house. You just got to have the latest stereo surround sound system. It just, I don't know. Do you turn on your TV? You listen to your surround sound. All around you, you hear is you're broke, you're broke, you're broke, you're broke, you're broke, you're broke.